What's up guys, how's it going? This is Kazi from cleverprogrammer.com. I just want to talk to you about my experience with coding with no coffee for over 100 days. My perspective, what have I learned from it so far? Should you try it? Are there any myths? Is something crazy that happens? With that said, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button as well. Let's get into it. Actually, Alex Becker was one of the reasons why I stopped drinking coffee. So I watched one of his videos, him talking about caffeine and how it was affecting him and how it was screwing up his productivity and how it gave him you know a little bit of a boost and then crashed so i thought if alex becker says this is a good idea i'm gonna give it a try so i got on this journey and ever since that day i kind of stopped drinking coffee and I wanted to see how not drinking coffee would affect my coding skills or how I focused and my ability to sustain focus over a prolonged period of time. This is the one thing that people ask me, like, how do you feel now? What does it feel like? And I always think that they're expecting something like, oh my God, literally a holy spirit now that just floats above the sky, just sits on top of a mountain, and just like shits out wisdom. I've been going on for over a hundred days and honestly, unfortunately it's not like that. I if I told you the truth, I feel no different at all than I did a hundred days ago. The peak that I hit once I have my coffee, I just don't have those anymore. Maybe I'm not that observant, but I can't remember if I really had crashes, but maybe sometimes I feel like when I had the coffee, after I drank the coffee or whatever, I probably might have had those like crashes that come after caffeine, like post caffeine. Now I don't feel those anymore and probably my energy just feels like it's sustained over a longer period of time. In terms of how it's affected my coding, again, same way. While I don't have those crazy peaks of energy as I would with caffeine, I don't also have those like crashes. So that's been good. But for me, what I realized what really helps me actually is staying fasted. So if I don't eat that much, then I actually focus more and get more and more dialed in. So in terms of my coding, I don't see that much of a difference with or without caffeine. I think I can sustain my focus for maybe a longer period of time. My recent coding hours were 12 p.m. to 10 p.m. So like 10 hours of coding or more per day. But yeah, with that said, for me, those are honestly the results of the caffeine. I have maybe longer periods of focus. What I do is I don't have to rely on anything. Not taking caffeine has been empowering. I will tell you that because I feel that I don't need anything to sustain and consistently be going at the pace that I'm going at to be productive or high achieving or you know hit really hard goals. I don't need to take caffeine in order to be able to do this. That feeling is priceless. I will tell you that. My hack is for me, coffee wasn't about the hit that it gave me. Coffee for me was a lot more the ritual, the ceremony of the coffee itself, like holding it and watching the smoke come out of it and coming and having a coffee break in between my coding sessions. You're holding it, you bring it up, you're just looking at it, the sound, the smell, the taste, all of that was what I was addicted to. It wasn't just the coffee itself. So I thought, okay, what can I replace it with? And the tea gives me a very similar experience, honestly. Some kind of herbal tea. I've literally stopped taking any caffeine. I take nothing with caffeine in it. So no energy drinks, nothing that biochemically changes me. Because one thing I do agree with is at the end of the day, it is a drug. It is a stimulant that is going inside of your body and changing things about it. And that is something I don't want. Other benefits I'll tell you of not having caffeine. For example, if I don't have caffeine and I'm f***ing tired throughout the day, that's a goddamn good sign. You know why? Because I'm f***ing tired. It means I had a lack of sleep. So it will expose that I'm sleeping less. Whereas having caffeine will mask it. And masking a sleep deprivation is one of the worst things you can do in your life as anything, as a developer, as a human being, and you will have extremely damaging repercussions over an extended period of time. It is destructive what it will do to your life and your happiness and your mental health and your emotional sanity. Every single one of those areas in a very detrimental way. It's kind of like if you're recoding and all of a sudden your terminal stops telling you that there are any errors and you're like, this is great. This is perfect. It doesn't tell me any errors anymore. When you run your app, it doesn't 
run, but it never also tells you an error. That's what caffeine does. It just hides it and goes, yeah, don't worry about it. There are no errors, but it's also not working and it's not telling you why it's not working. And so hiding the errors is not a good thing. Errors in coding are your friend. Look at the stack and you trace it back and you go, boom, this is the problem. This is exactly where the problem is happening. If you don't have that, you're screwed. Same thing with caffeine. Catching things takes an extremely long of, uh, amount of time. And then when you're older, it's such a habit and it's going to be so much harder to remove. And so what I recommend is if you're listening to this, you're like, this sounds cool. Give it a try. You might not need to do a hundred days, try 20 days or try 30 days. Try replacing it with the uh, herbal tea where there's no caffeine. Try going without caffeine in your body and see what that feels like over the next 20 or 30 days. But one thing I can tell you and I can promise you is you're going to feel a lot more empowered. You're going to feel like, man, I don't really depend on it and I don't need it to succeed and do things. And I think those feelings are going to be pretty freeing. And I think after not having caffeine, you start finding yourself more and more tired. You might be like, screw this, I'm going to take caffeine. But I challenge you, look at your sleep. You're probably not sleeping the right amount. You're probably not resting how much you should. And again, all of this is going to affect the ability of you coding and how long you're able to code. At the end of the day, the best developers are going to be the ones that can sustain focus on a problem for a long period of time and not have to crash. And if you can keep doing that with caffeine for the first couple of years, that's great. But what about long term? If this is a career, you're trying to stick to you want to develop your focusing muscles to grow stronger and not aided by additional stimulants so that's just my thought i have no judgment do whatever you want i might go back to coffee at some point give me your one takeaway you got from this video i love your face this is your boy kazi and as always i'll see you in the next video peace